Spring is an ideal time to plant fruit trees. Normally we plant dormant trees and what we have here is the first thing we do is we get these dormant trees and we, these are bare root trees. And what we'll do is we'll soak them overnight before we plant them. And so now let's take a look at what we have from our trees. If you look at a tree, apples and all fruit trees are a little bit different in that they don't propagate true to seed. Therefore, we have to graft them onto a rootstock. They all vegetatively propagated. At this point here, you can see where the bud from the apple variety was grafted onto the rootstock. This is the rootstock, here's the, the apple variety. You can see the two unions, one's right here and one's right here. And these two would be where the, the, the graft union was formed. The next first thing we do after we pull these trees out, we'll want to come in here and look at the roots and we'll try to remove any very long uh, roots that are out of balance. And so I might come in here and in this case t uh, trim this particular root off. The other roots are fairly good. When you're looking at a root system, make sure it's very fibrous. You want to have a good root system that's uh, fairly fibrous. These long roots usually don't grow much. We've pre-dug a hole here. What we have is a hole that's about two to three times the diameter of the root ball or the root system and about a foot to a foot and a half deep. Notice that we've tried to be very careful not to glaze the sides of the hole. If you glaze the sides of the hole, you may end up with a clay pot and it may restrict root growth in future years. Now, when we go about the planting, remember we talked about the fact that all fruit trees are vegetatively propagated. That means they have to be budded onto a rootstock. Most of the time, for rootstocks and apples at least, it's used to dwarf the fruit tree. If we plant this union, this bud union, if it goes below the ground, potential is that this variety or apple variety could root and you would lose the benefits of the rootstock. So we always need to make sure when we plant this tree that the rootstock is anywhere from two to three fingers above the soil lines. Make sure this node is two to three fingers above the soil line. Okay, we'll stick the tree in the hole. Make sure it's in the center and we start to slowly fill in. I'm glad you add soil. We'll jig it a little bit, make sure the soil comes in good contact with the roots. Just filling in the soil around there. We go about halfway with soil, jig a little bit more. And then we'll want to go in there and tamp it down a little bit when we're halfway through. Just lightly compress the soil with your heels of your boot. Then we'll tamp it down one last time. Again, noticing that we're trying to keep that union above the soil line. Now we've got the tree planted. Let's see how we started off by pruning it. First thing you're going to look at is if you have any of these small broken branches, these need to come off. You can see they were broken in transit. These are also fairly weak branches, so we're going to take them off as well. Cutting them fairly flush. Now, if we had had a tree that had three or four of these size branches, we would leave the tree, we would leave them and just head them in half. But since we only have one tree or one branch, it's going to be unbalanced. So therefore, because it's so big, we need to remove it. We also need to realize that when we dug these trees, they were not, we lost some roots. And so we need to head the tree back so that it comes more in balance. So what we'll do is we'll come in here and we'll head it off at an angle there, right above a bud. And we'll also remove these other small ones. Now this seems fairly drastic, but you really have to do this because we've lost some of the roots when we planted it and when we dug it. So therefore, we have to bring them back in balance. And even though it looks drastic, we've really got this tree off. It will be a good start for this coming growing season. After the tree is planted, you want to come in and back in and water it. P apply about five to 10 gallons of water around the tree, pouring it very gently. Let it soak in and then water it about once a week. Planting fruit trees may seem intimidating, but with the pointers I've given you here today, it should make the job a lot easier for you. A copy of the program you've just seen can be purchased through Penn State Media Sales at mediasales.psu.edu or by calling 800-770-2111.